you. Okay, thank you, Bernd. Um, I will make this as quick as possible, how to monitor um, Windows with the Singer 2. Um, to my person, my name is Christian Stein, working for NetWays in the sales department. And um, when getting to customers, it's um, quite often a question, how do you monitor Windows systems? So um, the classic opportunity is use an S-Client. Why an S-Client? An S-Client is the default for plenty of instances, Nagios, Isinga, for plenty of installations, and um, done for years. Um, and it's very easy to handle. Um, there's one problem with the NS client. We are having uh, no network communication encryption, so every check is uh, sent over the network, plain, uh, plain text, which means for some security uh, guys, this means um, an S client is no option. And um, we have one connection for each check, which means each uh, NRPE check is executing one check. On the other hand, we are having the Singer 2 agent. And What's the difference? The communication is encrypted over the um, Isenga 2 SSL protocol. We are having one connection for each endpoint, either established from the master to the agent or from the agent to the master. And um, just in case the um, check fails or the uh, network communication breaks, you're having a great opportunity because the agent will check locally, cache the checks if you configure it, and once the connection is, a a connection is established again, you will receive all check results. So there's no loss of data besides that you know there was a network problem. However, we have a small problem with the Isinga agent. It has a complex configuration. Who here has set up an Isinga 2 master setup or a master satellite setup? Okay, so you know you have to configure um, conf uh, the um, Isinga 2 conf, you have to enable the API feature, you have to ensure your endpoint configuration is correct, your parent zones are configured, um, to allow the agent to communicate with the master system. So um, you require also to uh, create the SSL certificate. So um, you require to ensure that the agent is allowed to communicate with the master and um, you require some knowledge about the Isinga 2 architecture and the configuration. What kind of solutions do we have? The best solution is install the agent by hand, downloading the MSI packages, running the setup wizard. The setup wizard allows you to um, uh, add the host name, for example, from the current uh, Windows node you're running. You can add the ticket you receive from the master. You can define the master instance. And if it should accept the connection, describe the port, sorry. Um, you can uh, um, set that you accept commands from the master and the configuration from the master. The other way is use configuration tools. We had some talks today about Puppet, doing some automation. You have Ansible, you have Chef. Wherever you can use automation on Windows, you can also automate the single agent installation, the ticket signing, and pla uh, placing your configuration. Now, not everyone is having a configuration management solution in their infrastructure available. So how do you install the agent? One solution would be use Windows tools for deployment. Um, what kind of Windows tools? Who is win uh, do we have Windows admins here? OK. Do you know about group policies and uh, domain policies to execute, to roll out checks, or to roll out scripts, for example, and ensure that things are installed? Great. That's one possibility. Um, Microsoft provides a very cool feature to allow you to distribute PowerShell scripts or whatever to um, install the agent remotely, for example. So you have to describe one module ensuring the agent is installed, that uh, the, ticket sign, uh, the ticket is signed, and so on, that the agent is allowed to connect to the master. You can lose Chocolati. Who knows Chocolati? Who uses Chocolati? Okay. Two people. Um, Chocolati is, uh, for those uh, not familiar with it, it's a repository tool for Windows. So like YAM on the Red Hat or apt, apt on Debian Ubuntu, you can use Choco to install packets for Windows. So it's Choco install Isenga 2, for example, and then you're done. And you can use a custom PowerShell module. And yes, I'm serious. Um, Choco install Isenga 2 will do the job. You can install the agent and you are done with the basement for the further configuration. You can use Puppet. There is a Puppet module available on which allows you to execute Choco calls on Windows. So you simply tell your 
Puppet package is Zynga 2, ensure latest, and it will install it on your Windows system. And afterwards, you can use Puppet, for example, to do your entire configuration, your endpoints, your um, certificate signing, and whatever you require um, in your infrastructure. And there's a Zynga 2 PowerShell module. And which module? It's available in, the, uh, in my GitHub repository um, because I've set up plenty of demo systems for customers. I'm running my own infra uh, monitoring infrastructure at home. And how long does it take for you guys to install an Isinga agent on Windows? Round about? Sorry? <laughs> OK, it's only about five minutes. Um, what does this PowerShell module do? The PowerShell module was initially um, intended to use the Isinga director in addition to do the entire certificate signing, to write the Isinga 2 configuration, to allow very easy integration. It turned out it could do more. It will install the agent, it will downgrade or update the agent, it will sign your certificates, it will validate if the Isinga configuration is valid, and you can even verify um, the download that MSI packages from, uh, from packages in the org, or even get your own packages installed. Um, and that's something I will show you right now. Um, one time at Chocolaty, and on the other type with the PowerShell module. So, oh, sorry. So, I'm hurrying a little up because I don't want uh, you guys to miss the lunch. <laughs> Uh, dinner, sorry. <laughs> um, so, first, um, there is a Chocolati install org. You get every d uh, details for Chocolati, for example, who's interested in it, who wants to try it out. You can even add own private repositories for Chocolati, so you don't need to use the public repositories. And um, you can also ensure that uh, Chocolati, like I said, is executed by, uh, by Puppet. Um, I'm not sure about Ansible or Chef, but um, well, that's something um, that can be found out. Found out. So um, at first, when using Chocolati, you need to ensure Chocolati is installed on a system. There are three ways to install it over PowerShell. I have done the, um, made the first way. We simply execute it. And then Chocolati will download all packages, run the PowerShell script, and install it on the system. And once this is done, you can use Chocolati, for example, to install Isinga 2. Wrong shell. So, Choco install Isinga 2. No, not Isinga 3. We're not that far. Um, with minus here, I guess I can um, apply, uh, accept any question the system gives me. If I would like to have a specific version, I can add the version here. Otherwise, it will always take the latest version available on the repository. Um, I'll take the latest version and simply install it. So, first reinstall, check it, reinstall the version is first. Choco install. Already installed? It's not installed. It's not installed, it's not here, it's not installed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so Choco, that's when you play around with the demo system, seconds before the system. So we remove it. If it says it's installed, then we remove it. You can do that as well, um, <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> so, okay, he provides errors because it's not there. And now, Choco, no demo without failures. That's, so. <laughs> Let's force it. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> so, let's see. <laughs> so, now I have your attention. Great. So, okay, now it will download the agent and install it over the, over the system, and it will simply do the entire basic installation. There's no configuration change done. There is no ticket signing done. It simply provides the package that's installed on the Windows system. It takes a while. Um, once it's done, um, we have, of course, the opportunity to add it to our monitoring. This would help a lot. I have prepared a short system with Tom's Isinga Director using the latest version, and it works perfectly from the Git master. So I hope it's true now. If it now breaks, I'm so, 
I'm creating a new object. And we say, OK, import it from the Isinga2 agent. Tom already um, showed us this uh, today, that once you say Isinga agent, yes, it will be identified as agent, and you get the additional tab required. Um, host name, I say Isinga camp windows. No, that's wrong. Uh, in Isinga camp, there it is. And display name. OK, host address, I'm just adding localhost. And then I say add. So Tom already, already showed, showed us this tab, which means we have the Windows kick, uh, Kickstart script, which I can simply download and use it um, for installing the agent on the Windows system. So basically, what does this PowerShell module do? It's designed to simply be a copy and paste script. You copy the entire content into your PowerShell, and it will, in case the agent is installed, add the certificates and ensure that the configuration is written, um, which I do now, and I hope it works. It's a bit of uh, it's, uh, some line of code, as you can see. And now it tells me, OK, I found the Isinger agent. It's generating the cert certificates, and it's restarting the Isinger service. And now the agent is installed or actually um, uh, configured. And now um, the Isinga2 agent would communicate with the master, would retrieve its entire configuration from the Isinga master, and start checking, transmitting the checks. Um, now you also have the possibility, for example, to say, OK, I don't want to use 2.4.10, because for some reason you don't like the version. Then you can do a downgrade, for example, or use it for upgrading. Um, PowerShell, who knows PowerShell? It's pretty cool how to escape new lines. It's very funny. Took me a while to find it out, figure it out. Um, then we say install agent version. It's, I want 249. And then we say allow updates true. In case the agent is installed and allow updates is not defined, the module will not um, do any action on the, on the agent. It will tell there is a different version installed, but it will skip it because you have um, disabled it. And now if I edit, it will start downloading the agent, hopefully. Uh, yeah. Thank you. So now it's pretty hard to always copy paste the entire module into the um, into the PowerShell. So um, on the GitHub repository, it's designed as real module, so can you you can in install it and then use it entirely over all your PowerShell environments, either for a specific user or entirely over the uh, system, depending on where you installed it. Right, now it's downloading the agent. It takes a while. <laughs> <clears throat> the agent is a little bit large. But as you can see, it tells me, for example, the, in, uh, the install directory and which version is currently installed and which version it's uh, going to install. Um, it doesn't also matter in which location you install the agent. If you, for example, say C, Fu, Ba, Isinga2, agent, whatever, it will automatically detect the pass and um, do the uh, upgrade process. So there is, it's fail safe. Come on. <laughs> Um, in the meanwhile, I can do the following. Um, I said you can install the, uh, the script as PowerShell module. So wh while this is running, how to get um, the current available modules? Um, you say get module, list available, and you will get an entire list of all PowerShell modules currently installed. And as we can see, there is right now no single module. Um, if I wish to install it, I simply require to get where is my environment pass. It's normally in the user directory documents PowerShell modules. For those, so uh, Echo or, uh, on environment PS module pass will give me all environments I have um, or all folders on which I can load PowerShell modules. The first one is always user specific. So if you install it inside the user directory only, this user can execute 
the, the, the RSA has access to the module. Um, if you place it on the program files, it will be available to all users, to everyone. And when I now download the module, simply do a git clone. Now you are done. And when I run now, list available. I will have the module installed in my administrator environment, which means I do not require to paste the entire PowerShell code into, the, uh, into it. I simply require to use the function parameter, give him what kind of parent zones do I have, where's my CA server, um, and which version I would like to install if I want to. And meanwhile, it should be done, hopefully. Uh-huh. Sorry? Uh, okay. So <laughs> thank you. Um now you see um there's a warning, is single two agent installer verification disabled? What you can do is provide hashes of installer packages to ensure that once you download the uh, the installer package, um it's a valid package from the Singer team and not compromised by third parties. So once you provide one hash, it will verify it. It doesn't matter which kind of version you want to install, it has to be inside the hash array, otherwise the script will terminate with an error and tell you, okay, um, I won't install because the hash verification failed. Um, now it tells me Singer 2 certificates are already installed. The upgrade or downgrade in this case is done. And now I should have installed, where is it? For nine. And now the the module it's the agent is installed. Once installed on the A on the on the master, um, I have now my check results, which is not possible because I'm connected over a VPN. So I have no access, but that's how you can deploy um, the agent, for example. Um, questions so far? Okay. I'm good in time. No? no? Fuck. Sorry. Um, so, two more slides, then I'm done. Um, what's next? Um, I have two more slides. Um, one thing that's currently missing is Windows 2016 support, because MSI is, for example, the nano server no longer available. Microsoft has a new package handling for, I forgot the name again. Um, but MSI is not supported on nano server, for example. Um, so that's something I need still to do. And um, I want to have the web installer and uh, local install locations um, distinguished. So right now I only accept web requests to download a file, but I want also to have Samba shares or local directories to install the agent from. And depending on, uh, on Tom and the uh, Isinga team, I would like to have um, an entire automated, inst automated installation, which means, for example, you connect to the director or somewhere else, you get a ticket and do no longer require to add a ticket or whatever to the system. So it simply connects there, says, okay, I'm this host, you receive the ticket, and then install it. Something I need to, um, well, ask to the guys or to see how we resolve it. And one thing is PowerShell remote execution support, so you don't need to install it on all systems, on sim or s but simply on one system and ensure um, that you can provide all Windows systems, for example, located in the Active Directory. So I hope I'm Oh, not over time, and enjoy the lunch at dinner. <laughs> <laughs>